I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow it. Hey everybody, this is Alessandro Camporata and welcome to one of my other tutorials. This one is about lip sync. So as you can see I chose a scene from one of my favorite TV shows and the reason why I chose this particular piece is because there is a lot of intensity in this acting and this means also a lot of uh, extreme mouth expression, the phonemes are really clear and another thing that I really like is that it, there is a lot of flashiness in his, uh, in his face and we can study really well the anatomy when we are doing the lip sync. So I think it's, this is a really great performance so I thought it was really interesting to study. As you can see I try to mimic more or less the movement of the body and in the eyes from this character. Um, it's not exactly the same but I guess for the purpose of the tutorial it's just fine because I wanted only to focus on lip sync. And before I want to start on this tutorial a couple of things I want to mention. So the first one is like when you do your lip sync just be careful about the shape of your phonemes. And what do I mean by that? Most of the time when, um, when animators tend to animate the lip sync they forget about the feelings that the, you know, the character is expressing. You know if the character is kind of sad or happy or angry they kind of choose like a blend um, phoneme shape. So for example when they will do the A shape they will do kind of a blend shape like this and instead of you know if the character will look happy you can do something like this okay if it's like if it's angry you can do something more like this understand if it's really sad you can do a reverse shape you know so you actually want to make sure that the shape that you're using are actually matching the emotion of your shot and of your character so how do you know if the mouth shape of your lip sync are actually correct and you know, they, they are probably done to convey the feeling that the character is supposed to express, like happiness, anger, or, or sadness. So my suggestion is that you can focus only on the mouth expression of the character, okay, and hiding the rest of his face. Play the animation without the, the audio, and just by looking at the mouth expression, you should be able to understand if the character is angry, sad, or happy. If, uh, you know, if you're not able to, to figure it out, that probably means that you're your mouth expression is still pretty bland or maybe it could be even wrong in some place. And the other things you want to be careful about is actually the timing of, uh, of your lip sync. So as you can see here, I actually put like a key on every major beat, okay? That usually is about four to five frames. Kind of mistake that I see quite often is um, on lip syncs is that animator try to eat every single phonemes or every single letter. And that actually will cause the jaw moving up and down too much, okay? So for me the best solution that of course doesn't work all the time is like to eat like a phonemes every four to five frames more or less so you can actually snap into the phonemes and then ease in into the extreme okay this actually help and and in some cases during those five frames you can actually blend one phonemes or one letter with another okay this is actually will help you to make your lips really readable and you know you won't see the jaw moving up and down too fast. So let's start to block the first pose for the lip sync, okay? Let's go with the A. The first thing I want to do usually is actually take a look at the deformation that it's happening in the face, okay? As you can see, all the part of the nose here is going up. There is like a, a compression here where actually the jaw is going down. So what I will do first of all is like start with the jaw. That's usually the, the basic, okay? <clears throat> and as we mentioned before, I always want to keep like this kind of angry uh, mouth expression, okay? I try to keep like some kind of consistency with the first expression. I can stretch a little bit the jaw to make it feel more organic. And as we mentioned before, we're gonna go up with the nose and really pushing the muscles here up. And you see how actually the teeth are visible here. Now, even the deformation is not that visible here, I still wanna kind of push here of the muscles, same here. And 
So this is something you want to keep in mind. When you open usually the mouth, the jaw, the, the, the skin here actually is going inside. Okay, it's kind of losing volume. And then when you close it and compress it, it's going actually outside. So this is something you want to keep in mind to make your face and lip sync much more organic. I can, I can push the jaw outside a little bit. And yeah, that's a contrast inside. Okay, here we can move on the U shape. Here is rolling way too much. Keep in mind always to keep your mouth expression kind of, you know, angry or a bit sad in this case. So in this case, we can't really follow too much the video reference because here, as you can see, the lips look basically close, but to sell the U shape, you actually have to, you know, open the mouth a little bit. So it's not that you can always follow the video reference blindly, um, you know, uh, at the end, like animation is like uh, a simplification, of, you know, of what you see in real life. We can use those other controllers to push them out even further. This is something helps a lot. And here for contrast, we can drop it down. Okay. So actually, you see this this one in here is not there is no phonemes here, but it's actually like a preparation for the L, which is here would like. So here is actually we are just. So this I would say actually. Is like an acting beat, okay? What you actually showing the, uh, what you actually supporting the face expression, you know? And here. When it's doing this, pushing a little bit higher. Not too much in this case. And again, push this one here. So you see, when you're going into this mod expression, then you wanna do the L. <coughs> You see, you don't want a lot of change. You actually want to keep the same mouth expression and just, uh, you know, open the mouth a little bit. But at the same time, now if you open the mouth only, it will look kind of mechanical. So if you observe here, the corner of the mouth here is actually getting a little bit wider during the L. So what can we do here? You know, we're doing this one and maybe in the previous one as a contrast, we get it a bit closer, you see? Pushing this one down, you know, see, I mean, when you're doing sometimes like lip sync, I know you, you want to have the same mouth expression, like if it's happy, it's happy, but you can just open the jaw up and down and, you know, not moving the rest of the controller because it will look kind of uh, isolated, I would say, and, uh, and not very interesting, okay, we want to make sure everything is kind of uh, organic. You see, it actually started to look kind of smiley, um, but I don't want to do that. I was still want to keep this kind of expression on the mouth, okay? Close it a bit. So I move a little bit forward, tweak a few of those poses. Uh, I had the tongue here that I kind of forgot and add another one. Um, so let's move to the next part here. And 
as you can see now from from this part of the dialogue it's kind of compressing and actually likely the default mouse shape of the of this character looks kind of the same so i will just tweak it um uh, a little bit which is actually maybe exaggerated a bit more the the you know the down pose here of the of the mouth i'm pushing the lips out lower one a bit and it's kind of nice to have this kind of m shape okay you can push it forward and up a little bit as you can see the nose is not going up that much so just a tiny bit and again i'm gonna push those one up i'm not gonna do eventually this one for for a reposing i mean i'm not gonna show it to you guys all the time uh so for now i'm doing it just for you to get the the feeling how the muscles work in the, in the face. Now I can go down a little bit. So do you notice here in like how in a couple of frames the mod is going down and then it's going up again. So the thing is, even though it's moving up and down quickly, um, the change in the second bit is not as big as you can see the mod is going up a little bit. Um, again, opening the corner. So you can snap in one frame when the mod open, but then when it's closing, um, the change is not that big. And then again, pushing the corner here, here. And there's another interesting scenario because uh, kind of mistake that I see quite often is like you have like a, a open mount here, then you close it a little bit, and then you open it again. Okay. And what animators usually do is like they will copy this key here, okay, close it here and then paste the same uh, um, the same uh, post here. So it will look like it's going from A to B to A and it will look very mechanical. But if you study the video reference, this first mouse shape is done in one way, then it's closing it a little bit and when it's opening, it's slightly different. You almost it's almost start to close the lips almost going to to another shape which is the next one so that actually mean that this mouse shape the a here is not the same of this one so again i'm gonna open again i'll see how it's really closing here the Here is doing the F shape. Okay, so it means so see when you're doing the F shape.
if we take a look in this section, it's actually say uh, life to watch you, okay? And, and what is really interesting for me in this section is like, uh, after they say life here, is basically blending the T with the O, okay? So this is supposed to be the T, but you see the mouse shape is already preparing for the O. So it's actually, even though we have like a five frames for the T, uh, is then it's kind of keeping the same expression for the T, but just like pushing the lips forward. And then it's blending, it's closing, blending to the U. To the U. And then it's really interesting this part, how the jaw is going down, and then in opening for the A for watch, and then close again. Okay, so this section is really, really, really interesting how actually you're blending from one letter to another and trying to keep the same um, mouse shape. And here is actually lower and as you can see here how it's actually opening the jaw and when it's going to the U is actually closing it compressing it um, even closer okay really forward And then here, as you can see, the, the lips are really closing even more. These lips are really gigantic. It's something I will have to uh, tweak later on with the blend shape. Um, so you see, with this rig, I can really rotate the controller so I have to use what I have for now and here you can see how how in one frame the kind of the jaw is dropping down uh, and after the, the A here is the H watch you all and then it's just like kind of blending from the you all. So let's move to the H. Okay. This one for contrast, we can open it a bit more. And here, we can actually push it. And push this mouth forward. In this case, um, I think it's okay to copy this the U shape um, in here. Again, make sure it's just not to uh, 
<coughs> and you see here is the jaw is dropping here. I finished the rest of the lip sync adding the remaining phonemes so I would say for those parts here I kind of copy paste some of the previews a mouse shape and, and adjust them a little bit and here as you can see like I really exaggerate the puff here you can see the, the cheek how they are getting bigger and here when actually is popping I want to say swallow it they are kind of going inside and in a couple of frames it's happening really fast and then here we have the mouth opening, the, the tongue like on the, on the teeth, even if it's kind of difficult to see on the, on the, on the reference. And then we have another O and then the final mouth shape, uh, you know, for the, for the end of the lip sync. So let's take a look what we have so far. I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow it. So, okay, so as we take a look, it's, it's a good start. Uh, definitely the timing is not perfect because in some of the phonemes at the moment, we have a key pause every like six, seven frames in some cases and stuff like that. So the lip sync looks very late compared to the audio um, because we are eating the phonemes on the extreme. And as well, some of the mouse shape needs to be pushed even further. But for now, we, we're going to stick with this and move to the blocking plus. So we're going to start to add the, the in-between with the right spacing. And then we're going to do another pass adjusting the, the mouse shapes. So here is kind of interesting how the mouth is not opening a lot okay but you can see the nose the muscles on the nose going really up so let's see it's really showcasing the teeth here I'm pushing this really up in order to make the mouth shape reading, we're going to have an easing out here. And then here we're going to have like an easy in. This is like how the mouth shape are kind of opening here. And here we can kind of have like a, a one in the middle. Always try to keep like the mouth shape kind of... Here you want to kind of want to have... Is in maybe even a bit more, and then kind of moving is in, in is in out into the and it's kind of is in out into the other pose. Here is kind of interesting because you can see how the lips are kind of moving. And the lips are getting closer as well. I started to connect. So this is what we talked before, we are going from the M shape to the mouth open in a few frames and then we're gonna easing out into the L and we're gonna anticipate even more uh, the tongue.
can hit again a snapping in a few frame. But look at here how the mouth kind of stay the same, but the corner here is kind of dropping. Okay, see so those are like little things, like little overlap that are happening in the in the lips. So it doesn't look too mechanical. It doesn't look that the mouth is just uh, you know uh, moving up and down constantly all the time, you know, uh, and the lips are kind of overlapping into the next shape in an organic way, I would say. And here it is kind of snapping in one frame. Keep rolling inside. And here we have a little is and out, okay. Drop a little bit more. And here we have like another one. We can snap here in one frame and see how the lips are actually going down. Okay, again here, you want to kind of snap into that pose. Actually, I want to have a little change here. You see how actually the upper teeth are not that visible here in the reference. And then you're pushing them out up in here. Okay, we're adjusting the shape here. Look how it's gonna snapping the O shape and then keep going down. Okay, we can have like a nice easing out. You see here the, the cheek are not like going compressed that much yet. So it's kind of interesting how the lips are stick together here and then here the snapping so like a first pass on the blocking pass is done let's take a look what we have I would gladly give my life to what you all swallow it now that the blocking plus is done, we're gonna move to the final phase, which is like the spline and polish at the same time. And usually when I'm animating, I tend to focus on smaller section, okay? So I'm, I'm going to spline this first um, 50 frames. I wanna make sure now the rotation of the jaw is gonna smooth and sharp at the same time, okay? Once the jaw is done, I want to make sure the the shape of the lips is, is done correctly, okay? That's kind of interesting now. He has the jaw a little bit more on the side.
So I felt like the, the U-shape wasn't working anymore. So I actually, I rework it and I, and I change the phonemes. Okay, so I think this is like much more readable and clear than what we have here. I adjust the tongue a little bit here, so having a little bit of uh, drag, you know, uh, from the L to the A here. And one more thing I want to do, when I say gladly, it looks like a single phoneme shape, okay? Um, so when I say the D, actually, I want to keep it closer. Okay, um, maybe you can adjust this. Okay, I want to have an easy in here. Maybe adjusting the shape, glad. And then on the last one, I'll say gladly, I want to on the E, okay, I want to have this contrast, and maybe pushing this higher, okay, now I want to exaggerate a little bit more the, uh, the squanchy stretch on the jaw, what obviously is necessary. Now, the next step, I want to take care of all the deformation here that it's happening uh, under the nose. So this is kind of the extreme. We can hold it down here. Increase them here. Okay. See, even here, like, so far, the only thing I had after, um, you know, the joy is done, after the lip is done, and everything, I, I took, like, actually the controller here of, of the nose, as I mentioned before. I used those controllers for the cheek and the puff. And, and ideally, what I'm doing, like, anytime the the, the jaw is going down, I, I drop them a little bit, uh, same with the here, and every time the jaw, the jaw goes up, I push them up a little bit, okay? And same thing is for the value here, uh, the puff cheek, anytime the mouth is like it's opening, like here, I push them inside, and anytime like I compress here, I push them outside, okay? Of course, I'm gonna clean them in the graph editor, maybe you can offset them by the jaw movement about one frame, but more or less that's what I've done. At this point, I spline the rest of my shot. So usually when, uh, when I'm going to spline and polish, I realize at some point that some of the phonons were not that strong. So I kind of rework them to make them more appealing and make sure they were readable. And I will go through the, this section again. So on this section here, what I did first of all, I adjust the timing for the M. So I make sure like it's holding uh, almost like uh, for like three, four frame, because at the beginning I noticed it wasn't very readable. And even as I want to say here, my life, when I start to drop the jaw for the A, you see I still keeping the, the lips together, so they will read longer as I am, and then I will pop them in one frame, okay, for my. And you see, even if I open the jaw in one frame, I'm already switching back, closing back the jaw for the L, okay, so keeping the same shape of the mouth, so it will still read. And here now, when I say life, again, I, I hold the, the, the F actually a couple of frames longer compared to the reference, because it wasn't reading. And another thing I did, once the, the jaw start to close, the lips are actually going down sooner, okay, to meet the F shape. When you say 
Watch. You see this the gap here is not that big, so maybe we can open it a bit more. And this is another interesting part that basically when I'm doing the watch, you know, like I'm not just simply easy in, easy out from this post to this other one. I first I reach the shape where I'm closing the, the jaw and everything, and then I just push push the, the jaw and the lips forward, okay? So keep feeling the compression. And this is like another interesting part when it says swallow it. So I make sure I ate the S, okay? And when I'm going to the S, to the U, I don't go straight, I don't just use the twin editor to just go from this shape to this one in a, in a linear way. What I did here, I, I start to eat the U shape, but I'm going lower with the lips, and then I'm going up, okay, so to compress towards this direction. And then here, I'm kind of snapping in a few frames, going, you know, down with the jaw, keeping the O shape here, and then you see here how it's opening, getting to the A again, okay? And another thing, another issue that originally I want to say is swallow it. Um, when I go to the O here, and then I blend to the E at the very end, it was kind of very linear again. Uh, and the problem was because of the jaw. I kept the, basically the same jaw movement, linear from this one to this one. So what I did, I had another in between here, where actually going going lower with the jaw here, and uh, and then going up again here. So it give like this extra bit on the jaw that makes it look like more more sharp. Another small adjustment I wanna do here on the timing is like here. You see like there is, a, if you look at the video reference, there is like an easy in. So just to make sure it reads a bit better, okay. So see, it's, it's a little bit slower the transition, then it's gonna pop here. Easy in, easy out is really good for lip sync because it helps you to read the phonemes better when you go uh, as a transition from one shape to another in a, in a very short frames, okay? In this last section, I decided to show you how do I uh, work on the puff cheek here and uh, some of the muscles on the face as well, uh, how they are connected to the, to the lip sync. I, I tend to go to the extreme part of it and improve the increase the cheek here. Here I'm gonna I decide to go back to the to the original value, okay? Uh, and that's because during the O shape, this is you see how the face is stretching overall overall here, and re, and reduce here the you know the puff value. Of course, I always gonna use the easy in easy out, you know so it doesn't look too floaty and here as long as it starts to go up and you see how the face immediately is gaining volume again in this section we have to be careful not to exaggerate it too much um, because we have uh, another extreme one is gonna be really big it's gonna, gonna say swallow it you see how here is uh, it's getting bigger okay so definitely this is the section where you really wanna push it as much as you can Exaggerate even more if you have to. So here for a moment I wanna maybe go into one for for a moment. Going down here and again using the easy in. So in a couple of frames after we reach our extreme, we're gonna go to uh, a negative value here, and here again we're gonna have like an easy in. Um, okay, so we're gonna have a little easy in here, and then the explosion here when you go negative, and then you're kind of bouncing back to his normal value. Okay. Maybe if here is minus three seven, actually here it could be uh, minus one. And now we're gonna do kind of the same for the for the nose, okay? Looks like this is the extreme, so we're gonna push the this part of the nose really higher. You see here, I started to go really low in here, okay? 
and then for this expression you're really pushing it down okay you see it looks very organic the face now and this is the part where you're compressing the nose okay So if you've done this correctly, at some point you can go in the graphator and tweak it, exaggerate it or uh, reduce it. Depends how, how have you done it. And you can repeat the same process more or less and do exactly the same with the, those two controllers for the cheek and the, and the ears as well, okay? Last tip I want to give you guys is about improving the formation through blend shape. So we can open the shape editor, create a blend shape, give them a custom name and create a target. At this point you can adjust the vertex, okay, and what I'm gonna do is actually push in, I'm gonna select all those vertex here, push them much more forward, okay, okay especially here around the nose. You know, we, we're never gonna have like our perfect rig. Mm. Uh, I'm exaggerating right now, but we can tweak the weight of the, of the blend shape by this value here. So now that you have your blend shape, you have your channel here, and you, you can see the key here in the, in the graph editor, you can start to adjust the easy in and easy out, okay? So for example here, you can have like easy in at the beginning, then we can kind of have Accelerate the blend shape here. And keep it like this until the end. Okay, having an easy out here. And now that you understand the process, you can repeat this until the end of the shot. So once you're done with your blend shape as well, the final animation should look something like this. I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow it. So I think for this tutorial it's good enough. Uh, I hope you enjoyed guys and you could learn something from it. If you have any question or comment, please let me know. See you next time guys.